Teresa here again. Thought I'd come back on here. I wanted to tell you guys a real quick story about last night grocery store trip. Now, before I start, don't get me wrong. I love children. I spent most of my life raising children and had daycares of my own, even a 24-hour daycare at one point in time, you know, and I've worked in daycare, so, you know, I love children, well-behaved children, okay, and the story I tell you is no reflection on the children, really, but, okay, we're in the grocery store last night, my husband and I, getting ready to check out. We had noticed this woman throughout the store with, with two small uh, children, girls. They were probably, the oldest one was maybe five, the other one was maybe about four. Now, these children were filthy, and I don't mean like a day's worth of filth. Like, they probably lived in conditions where, I mean, they just... Their clothes were filthy, and I mean it was old filthy. The woman herself was filthy. You wondered if there was some inbreeding <laughs> on the woman's part herself, the way she looked and stuff. You could just tell. Anyway, we noticed her going through the story. I hadn't thought too much of it, right? Get to the checkout. And... One of the little girls, the smaller one, was throwing things out of the cart. The mom is putting things on the conveyor belt, and she is throwing things out of the cart. The mom doesn't say anything at all. Just bends over and keeps picking up the stuff off the, off the ground, putting it on a conveyor belt. Kind of oblivious to it. Didn't care at all. Until she threw a jar of picante sauce, glass. And of course we know what happened then. What got me was, you know, of course the store didn't make her pay for it. Be, trying to be nice. But that increases all of our grocery bills. And the thing that got me was if she had bothered to say... To this little girl, the first time she threw an item out of the cart, not to do it, you know, gently corrected her. The little girl wouldn't have kept it up, but it became a game because mom didn't say a word. Now, most of us, I mean, we would have right away said something. And the only thing she said to the little girl you know, I mean, she she smacked her a few times on the hand. I mean, not overly hard. I mean, um, but told her she couldn't do that because she was going to get her in trouble because she broke that. And I thought, no, why don't you tell her no? Because that's not how we be behave in public, and that's not, you know, something that, that you do. But, no, you know, just like, no, you're going to get me in trouble. And, you know, it's like, Wow. You know, but she didn't seem embarrassed or anything that her child had done that. You know, Connie saw us everywhere. And, uh, you know, I don't know. Sometimes it just really gets to me how these, how these people are. It's like, you know, make your children behave. And I'm not talking about a child with, with, uh, that's on the autism spectrum. This child clearly wasn't. Uh, from what I could tell, I mean, you know, I mean, she's having a great time pulling this stuff out of, out of the cart and stuff. And, you know, like I said, mom could have, I mean, we're talking over 10 items thrown out of that cart. Mom just bent over picking them up, seemed oblivious to it. You know, it wasn't until something got broke she cared. And, uh, you know, uh, it was like, I don't know why they don't you know, make them behave. Like I said, you know, this isn't a child having a tantrum. Children do that. You know, small children, you know, will, will act up. That's how they learn. 
you know, this wasn't part of that. And like I said, it wasn't really one of the child's fault. The child hadn't been taught, clearly. I mean, but it just amazes me, you know, how people people are. And there were so many rude people in this drug last night. My husband was getting really frustrated with it. And he worked in the general public all the time. But just, you know, no common courtesy anymore these days. Anyway, I just wanted to tell that story about a woman with a, my husband and I were just like, we can't believe she didn't say a word until, you know, Jorah Bacani saw us, you know, not throwing and splat and everything. I mean, you know, and even then acted irritated because, you know, <laughs> I mean, of course she didn't even offer to help clean it up or anything. I mean, you know. Wow, some people. I would have been horrified if my children would have behaved that way, or my grandchildren. One time we took our one of our grandsons into the store, and he uh, thought it would be fun to go along and and try to just hit and smack a little of the bread and bag of chips. And I was like, oh no, mm -mm. nope, <laughs> not gonna happen, you know. Not gonna happen, not on my watch. My, you, my grandchildren know that you don't, you don't act up in public and stuff when you're with me. That's that's not gonna fly. I had one time one of my grandsons, his mom says he has meltdown. Now this is the grandchild that was kicked out of kindergarten. So, and I'm serious, kicked out of kindergarten for the rest of the school year. So you're going to have one of his meltdowns in, in my vehicle when I picked him up after school. Yeah, uh, he didn't again because I pulled over the Jeep over the side of the road and, and uh, didn't touch him or anything, but let him know that that was not acceptable and we were not going to be doing that ever while I was driving. Another time he said he was going to have a major meltdown while I had taken him roller skating, him and his sister. He said he was going to have one of his major meltdowns. Now, he's classically known for these meltdowns. Have, had him in school, had him on the bus. I mean, where they would pull the bus over, and they would call my daughter to come get her son off the bus. And she would have trouble removing him because he would he would hold on to, to whatever and refuse to let go. And, you know, in school and stuff, he's thrown chairs and everything else at at uh at teachers and stuff i mean he's every year he's been you know suspended and whatnot well he didn't do it around me and that's probably why he doesn't really like being around me too much because i'm making behave because he decided well they were roller skating he was going to have one of his classic fits and i just wrapped him in a bear hug right there sitting there on the bench with the other parent stuff and just held on to him until he stopped. He wasn't going to be hitting me, and he wasn't going to be throwing a major, major tantrum and a major fit. He never had a, another meltdown around me. He knows better. Because he starts to even, like, uh-uh, no, we aren't doing that. I'm on to you, and I'm on to your game. Because you have one of these, and then mommy or whoever's in authority give you whatever you want. So you'll stop. That's not going to happen. Anyway, I just want to come on here and talk a little bit about that wonderful thing. You know, and like I said, this isn't anything to do with a child that's, that's been through trauma or a child that, uh, you know, is uh, has Asperger's because I have Asperger's. I've grown up with Asperger's. ADHD, Asperger's, hearing impaired, that's why I have a speech impediment, um, dysle dyslexic, see, <laughs> you know, um, so, you know, I understand that, that, that world very well, and we're all different in that, but anyway, so I come in here and tell that little story, you know, so you guys all have a good day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.